welcome to another epic overclocking video. Today we're having a look at the Xeon X5650 paired with the Gigabyte GA X58A UD7 motherboard revision 1 of course. As you can see we've stuck the good old GTX 580 3 gigabyte extreme in there just for even more epic looks. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. We'll start by loading up the most defaults. Just jump straight into Intelligent Tweaker, keep the clock ratio 20 simply because this motherboard doesn't like anything higher. Enabled VCLK, crank that straight to uh, let's go to 205. That'll bring us up to 4.1 gig. Stick the RAM on the lowest multiplier, which is 6. Into voltage, maximum LLC, load line cal. And the CPU V core straight that to 1.3. And the DRAM voltage to 1.6. And that pretty much wraps us up. We'll just go through and tidy up. SSD to default boot drive. Disable full screen logo. Hard drive, first boot device, integrated prefs, OHCI. Who knew who uses IDE anymore? Check the temps, doesn't really matter. And save and exit. And cross your fingers at she boots. Boom, there we go, 4.1 gig. That easy. Let me just take Will it boot into Windows? That's the next question. Who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Let's find out. I'm tipping she's going to because I have already booted into Windows with these settings. So I know it will. There you go. In Windows. Now we're just going to crank up uh, real temp and CPU Z. Make sure our values are correct. Make sure our voltages aren't stupidly high. Some motherboards like to really overvolt the CPUs. Move that junk out of the way. Real temp, CPU Z. And we've got our CPU meter on the right hand side there. So we'll crank up Prime 95 and um, let that run for 10 minutes or so. If it runs for 10 minutes, look, it should it should be fairly game stable. Well, that's what I found anyway. Any longer, you're just wasting your life. And look at those temps, beautiful. You can't beat these these old X58 Xeons. They're just amazing. Look at that. Very low temps. I think we can even take this bad boy higher. Anyway, that's me. Thanks for watching. Until next time.